Your personal piano professor, and uh, we're into uh, adult piano lesson number two. If you've been following along in the series, um, lesson these first lessons they've got a lot of information in them. A lot of it's theoretical and uh, practical, but uh, you may have to review them. So, if you're at this lesson, I assume you know how to sit at the piano or at the keyboard. I assume you know how to play with your fingers curved like a typewriter. And your finger numbers five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five. You should also know by now the names of these notes: C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C, and also the black notes, which each have two names: C sharp, D flat, D sharp, E flat, etc. If you don't know that stuff, that's all in lesson one, and you can get that on the website, pianolessonsforlife.com. Uh, let's see what else did we learn back then too. Uh, basically, we learned to play some three-night note chords. We, um, it was basically, you take your left hand and your right hand. It's always learned good to learn these things um, in uh, both hands. Uh, believe me, it'll pay off. But you learn to make the three note, every other note, five, three, and one fingers, C, E, and G, D, F, and A, E, G, and B, F, A, and C, etc. And this was just uh, when we learned it in the first line to show you that you can make music uh, by just sort of improvising, okay? If you kind of stick to the white notes there and play the chords, you'll, you'll hear uh, some beautiful music. If it sounds good, you repeat it. If it doesn't, you don't repeat it. That's pretty simple. A little bit about information. But anyways, we're getting to um, the point where we want to learn to read a little bit of music. I know this is a play-by-ear course, and we're going to concentrate mostly on that. But if you don't recognize a tune and you haven't heard it, um, we want to learn you to, like the professionals, to read what we call speed music or fake music. And today we're going to do a little of that with the song Mary Ann. And it is um, printed there on the page on www.pianolessonsforlife.com. Um, lesson two fundamentals um, and Marianne's pretty simple so um, there are three parts or four parts to that you're learning to read a little bit about uh, music notation and also uh, how to read the fake music and also a little bit on chord inversions and I'll just review that real quick before we start here's the song we're going to be playing All day, all night, Mary Ann, down by the seashore, shifting, sifting sand. All right, uh, pretty simple, but hey, we're beginners here. We want to start off simple. Um, now, the melody, um, we'll play it by ear, uh, so you can see it and hear it if you're not into learning to read the music, but I suggest you really try and get the basics of that down. We'll review it again in the lesson series, but the, the melody is pretty simple. It starts with your third finger on an E note. So it's E, G, C, E. So it's the same as the chord, actually, the C chord. And then E, D, F. And then D, F, C, uh, B. We've got our thumb drop down there to the B. This D and then that's the first part. Again, we'll just do that again. See, even I make mistakes. It's good to make mistakes. Um, as long as you correct them and move on. Second part goes just like the first part, except right here it's a little bit different. Okay, so we have a first and second ending. Now, uh, you learned a little bit about chord inversions. What a chord inversion is, is, a, is a, it's an easy way for now for us to go from one chord to another. Because the two chords in this song are C and G. 
Now your G chord has G B D in it. But that's a that's a big way to jump. So since we already have a G here, we can just move our two fingers down and go B D G. That's an inversion of the G chord. Remember to invert, we take the bottom note, G B D, and put it on the top. So that's our first inversion. So that makes it easier than jumping here. So we got Okay, it's a good idea to, to do this a bunch of times, so eventually you won't have to think about it. When you get to that point in the melody, your hand will just snap down, and those two fingers will move down and get that G chord. And the chords are written right above the notes on the music where they're supposed to happen. So we start with the C chord and third finger right hand. Now we're going to play this D note and move our chord. And it stays there. You can play the chord again. Start again, second ending this time, coming up. And that's our first song. So I was just improvising a little bit there, which is basically just kind of finger painting with my fingers, using the notes of the chords and the melody. So we're going to continue to learn more about improvisation too. So basically that's what I'm trying to get you to do, play a simple melody with your right hand and the chords with your left hand to be able to sort of, sort of read the music. Um, so that if you don't know the tune and you can't figure it out by ear, at least you have some way to reference the melody and see where the chords go. And uh, I still use that fake music a lot, mostly for the chord changes now, because my ears are a bit more trained. So, that's it. Um, lesson two, again, we learned a little bit about reading music. We learned how to make a scale. We learned about half notes. And... Uh, whole, I mean, half steps and whole steps if you've done the lesson properly. Uh, quite a bit of information there, but I did want you to see how we're playing Marianne, and I'll do it one more time. Shift to the G chord. G chord again. Thumb down to the B. There we go, right? Second time through. Same as the first. Thumb down to the B. Okay, so that's it, even with mistakes. Now here's the deal. Um, if you've got one of these arranger keyboards, you can get the whole band to play along and make a simple song like that sound kind of professional. I've got this little uh, pattern called Latin up here. And as soon as I play the C chord, the whole band plays that C chord with me. And I can play my melody up here. Ah, yes. My split happens there. We'll put the melody up here. right up here we go
So that's the beauty of these Arranger keyboards. With just a little bit knowledge, you can sound um, professional. If you want to know more about the Arranger keyboards, again, they're on the website too. Look. So uh, that's it. That's basically all I want to show you. Um, next time for uh, lesson three, we hope you'll be able to play a simple melody like that with both hands. If you got any questions or concerns, you just go on my website on any page on the bottom. There's a contact me form. Uh, you might want to use the one on the page uh, that the lesson you're on. Contact me, ask a question, suggest a lesson. If I'm not explaining something clearly, maybe I can help you out. And I'll try and get you personally through your email address. And that's about it right now. Uh, lesson two. And look forward to lesson three coming up real soon. Not sure what we're going to do. Probably uh, stick to some simple songs and melodies. So once again, my name is Greg, your personal piano professor. Thanks for tuning in.